Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to talk about gold farming and mages in Phase 3. With the introduction of Trap Launcher, hunters took the dominant spot as the game's best AoE farmer in Phase 2. They could do every pull mages could do without risking their own lives by utilizing Eyes of the Beast. What makes them even more OP though is Aspect of the Viper. This essentially gives them infinite mana. In these long, massive 100 mob pulls, hunters are able to do them faster and more efficiently because they do not have the mana problems mages have. In Phase 3 though, I believe all of that is going to change. For those who have done mage boosting in vanilla or TBC, you will be familiar with this item. Blade of Eternal Darkness. This dagger has a single effect. Chance on landing a damaging spell, deal 100 shadow damage, and restore 100 mana to you. While Blizzard can't proc the dagger, Flame Strike, Arcane Explosion, and Cone of Cold all can. The mana return from this dagger is actually pretty insane. What we would do back in the day is weave in Flame Strikes between our Blizzards. Each mob Flame Strike hit had a chance to proc the dagger, and combined with talents like Master of Elements, your Flame Strike weaving could actually refund you quite a bit of mana. Now, obviously Flame Strike weaving would still be very possible in Sod, but what about Living Bomb? The explosion from Living Bomb already procs a lot of runes and talents in the game. The explosions of Living Bomb proc things like Hot Streak and Fingers of Frost, so it's quite possible that Living Bomb explosions will proc Blade of Eternal Darkness. When looking at the kill phase for Mages and Cath Boost, it's really just a race against our mana right now. Spam Living Bomb and kill the casters before they can kill you. Well, imagine the calf boost if you had infinite mana from Blade of the Eternal Darkness. You'd easily have the mana to weave in blizzards if you were struggling to clump the mobs, or have the mana to spam regen if you're getting low on HP. If you're able to keep them stacked though, you should be able to infinitely spam Living Bomb until every mob is dead. This all depends on whether Blade will proc from Living Bomb explosions, but my current guess is that it will. If this is the case, and mages end up with infinite mana from Blade, then mages will most certainly be back on top. Blink enables mages to do some pretty gnarly things. Mix in infinite mana, and then it'll be GG. Warning though, Blizzard said they are updating the loot from ZF, Mara, and BRD, so it's possible Blade gets changed and becomes useless. Whether it's ZF, Mara, or BRD boost, I believe the dagger is going to carry mages back to the top. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about mages in Phase 3, and are you excited? I will be live streaming the launch of Phase 3 here on this YouTube channel. Side note, but in Phase 1 and Phase 2, I made a few open world gold farm videos. Almost immediately after I made those videos, those farms became overcrowded and unplayable. That is the main reason why you haven't seen any open world gold farm videos from me, since my Badlands Elemental farm. This idea was recommended to me by some viewers, so I'll be trying this out in Phase 3. I will be releasing open world gold farm videos private to members of this YouTube channel. Head over to the channel page and click join. Anyways, make sure you stop by the stream while I speed level to 50. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Take care, and see you in the next one.